Greetings. This is astrologer Pam Younghans, and here is my forecast for the week of June 13th to 19th, 2022. The current lunar cycle reaches its climax this Tuesday, June 14th. The full moon that occurs in June is known as the Strawberry Moon in the traditions of many Native American tribes of the northeastern United States due to the region's wild strawberries that ripen in the late spring and early summer. This year's strawberry moon will also be a supermoon, which means it will appear larger and brighter than typical full moons. A supermoon occurs when the moon is close to perigee, at its closest proximity to the Earth, at the time it opposes the sun. It is said that the gravitational pull of a full moon is stronger when it is a supermoon. This heightens its effect on our emotional, mental, and physical bodies, and also increases the possibility of tectonic movement, earthquakes, and other natural events. The full moon will be at its brightest at 4.51 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time on Tuesday, June 14th, when the moon is at 23 degrees, 25 minutes Sagittarius, and the sun is at the same degree of Gemini. A full moon always asks us to find a balance between polarities, as represented by the sign locations of the two lights. In this lunation, we are called to balance logic and intuition, reason and faith, the mind's need to know, and the spirit's journey to find deeper meanings. At the time of the full moon, the moon will be in close aspect to three outer planets. It will be sextile Saturn, square Neptune, and trine Eris. Since each of these planets has a unique energy signature, and none of them are inherently compatible, this is an interesting mix of influence we'll be working with. Saturn is the realist, able to view life objectively, and always has its sights set on practical goals. The Moon-Saturn sextile can help stabilize our emotions, which is very helpful given that this is a supermoon. We are more able to view our feelings with some detachment, and may be inspired to take concrete steps in the direction of our goals. However, with Saturn now retrograde, we must be prepared for progress to take some time. We are also advised to use this influence to sort through and gain new perspectives on unfinished emotional business. On the other end of the spectrum, Neptune is the idealist and the dreamer, always working to enhance our spiritual or creative experience and helping us release attachment to physical reality. The Moon-Neptune square can be very ungrounding, making it hard to know the difference between fact and fiction. They may feel confused and either over-idealize a person or a situation, or simply not have good powers of discrimination. Dwarf planet Eris brings yet another influence to bear on the full moon. Considered the female counterpart to Mars, Eris is a maverick, courageous, and not afraid to take risks. The moon Eris trine is highly energizing, increasing the power of our emotions and our desire to take action on what we believe in. If we successfully combine these three influences involved in the full moon, we can harness the determination of Saturn, access the creative and spiritual guidance of Neptune, which also requires that we let go of controlling outcomes, and also be inspired by Eris to take action according to our own truth. The Omega and Chandra symbols for the location of the full moon strongly echo the themes of the planetary aspects we've just been discussing. Here are the symbols and their interpretations as channeled by astrologer John Sandbach. The Omega symbol reads, A man in his imagination inventing flowers, the seeds of which magically appear. What we desire and envision with clarity will eventually take form. It's just a matter of focus and intent and overcoming limiting beliefs. The Chandra symbol reads, a statue of Isis covered by a transparent veil. The veil helps to tone down the extreme brilliance of the light of Isis before we are ready to receive it. We may yearn for union with the Divine Mother, but that union will only happen when we are completely ready for it. Mr. Sandbach's overview of the 24th degree of Sagittarius provides powerful words to meditate on this week. 
This degree has a deep and vivid sense of what is possible. If it can just faithfully continue to focus on the immediate task at hand with patience and hope, all the beauty and wonder it has always envisioned with its mind's eye will eventually manifest. It needs to accept the current moment of darkness as simply a step in the process of the coming light. Here is the list of important planetary aspects that are occurring this week, along with my brief interpretations of each. On Monday, Mercury enters Gemini. Mercury will be in its native sign from June 13th to July 4th. During these weeks, the mind is especially active, needing variety, and perhaps easily becoming bored. Social activities and communications are highlighted. On Tuesday, the full moon occurs at 4.51 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time. This Sagittarius full moon encourages us to trust in our higher wisdom while also employing our ability to think logically. On Wednesday, Mars is conjunct Chiron. People may be reactive or easily angered today, especially if feeling ignored or discounted. Also on Wednesday, the sun is sextile Eris. We have an opportunity to take action on new ideas and are not likely to accept input from others. On Thursday, the Sun is trine Saturn and square Neptune. The themes of the full moon are highlighted today. We may logically understand what we want to achieve, but the means for reaching the goal could be obscured. Also on Thursday, Venus is conjunct the North Node. Today, we invest our hearts and resources in projects that represent our core values. There are no major aspects exact on Friday. On Saturday, Venus is square Saturn and sextile Neptune. This is a reality check, perhaps regarding recent relationship or financial decisions. If fears arise, trust what your heart and higher self are telling you. On Sunday, the sun is quincunx Pluto. Differences of opinion can result in uncomfortable power struggles as deep-seated fears come to the surface. If your birthday is this week, your determination to achieve certain goals is strengthened this year. However, you may also be dealing with some uncertainty about your abilities to fully grasp all the details of a project. Or you could become sidetracked by a tendency to try to rescue others. Ultimately, you will become more conscious of what motivates you to try to control situations and will emerge stronger and more self-confident. This is astrologer Pam Younghans wishing you peace and strength this week. Thank you for being with me on this journey. We hope that you have enjoyed this article. For over 30 years, we at Inner Self have sought to encourage new attitudes and new possibilities. For more inspiration, visit us at InnerSelf.com. Thank you. Visit the Inner Self Market for new attitudes and new possibilities. You'll find inspiring books, wonderful music CDs, audiobooks, card decks, candles, jewelry, gifts, all kinds of wonderful things. Visit us at market.innerself.com.